Hello Capricorn, Elsie here to do a reading for you. It's not for the week ahead. It is for the rest of the year. Capricorn, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you being here. If you are interested in seeing this Capricorn tribe grow, please hit that thumbs up if you enjoy this content. And there's lots of views. I'm looking at my analytics that come by and click, and I appreciate the clicks and views, but you're not subscribing. So if you haven't yet, I hope that you will and hit the bell button so you'll know when I'm uploading. Sorry, it's been a little bit erratic lately. <laughs> I try to keep it a little bit steady, but it's been a little bit erratic lately. Thank you so much for, um, for viewing this. All right. So let's take a look at you. It's for the rest of November and into December up until the end of the year. December 31st of 2024 is what we're reading for today. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn, my Earth cousin. I'm a Taurus Sun. I just did Virgo as well. Here we go. One more for Capricorn. All right, a creative endeavor is coming up, a chance for you to show your wares. And I want to say, Capricorn, that you have so many talents. You are a person who wears many hats, right? You are feminine or masculine. You're a person who wears many hats. You are the person who is uh, emulating the empress, right? You're learning how to be the empress in the way that you're going, and you're going to be the empress because you're constantly... Um, acting as though you are and that's true manifestation right so I feel like there is a creative endeavor coming up now I want to say about the creative endeavor is that it is going to work out really well but I want to say it's something that you haven't really shown people before that maybe you have some sort of a talent I mean we're looking here it could be obvious right could be a musician could be a painter right um you could be uh, someone who swims possibly um maybe someone who is a scholar who has a PhD there's something there is something here that you're going to go on some sort of a creative endeavor and it's something you've never done before, but I feel as though you've been like hiding a talent because you have lots. <laughs> Look, all the Capricorns I know can do it all. Everything. Yep. And they do. Tell me more about Capricorn. We've got stuck energy. Interesting. So I think that this in creative endeavor is coming up for you by the end of the year, but I think that it's going to involve you trying to get over some hurdles. Because these, we've got mountains in the background, and I feel like there's an obstacle, and the obstacle feels like your energy is stuck. I feel like you're getting some sort of, I feel like you've been getting signs from the universe I feel like the universe is trying to tell you that it's time to go on this creative endeavor, but I feel like you're sort of in Groundhog Day here, that you're feeling like you're in some stuck energy. Oh, it could be after a loss. Could be. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. Look. If For those of you who have experienced a loss of some sort, whether that's a job or a person or a relationship or whatever it is, I just want you to know that, you know, when you check in with your higher self, you'll know that the reason that the only reason that things are lost is so something can begin. The only reason that things end is so things can begin, right? Playing it safe. So this hasn't happened yet. I'm going to say for some of you, it might happen by the end of the year that you might, you might lose something that is valuable. Now, I don't know what is in that ship, right? <laughs> I'm not really sure, but it seems like somebody is feeling like it's never coming back. The loss has caused emotional upheaval. And I think somebody is feeling like they let you go or you're feeling like you let someone else go. Your higher self is telling you that it was supposed to happen that way. That not everything you lose is a loss. Just reminded, right? Just a reminder. Not everything you lose is a loss. Sometimes we lose people along the way. And I don't mean to death. I mean, you know, people that we just no longer have resonance with anymore. Not everything that you lose is a loss. You might feel sad that it's gone. And it's okay to feel sad that it's gone. But not everything is going to be a loss. All right. Let's take a look. We'll get some tarot on it here for you, Capricorn. If you are interested in a private read, please look below in the description. Um, where I work from is Wizio. You can make an appointment there with me if you like. My readings begin at $40. But for the rest of my packages, I have quite a few. You can uh, head over to Wizio there. Uh, there's a link in the description. All right. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn. 
What do we need to know about Capricorn between now and December 31st of 2023? Oh, interesting. I feel like the creative endeavor you're going on is something that you really love. It's something that's connected to your heart space. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Look, this creative endeavor is leading you to love, like the big one, the one. Yes, there is a, there's three cups here. There is a celebration. It's a celebration over your creative endeavor, possibly, or you end up going on some sort of creative endeavor after you meet someone and fall in love at some place that is um, a place that is of celebration, so you've been invited to a party or a get together. And look, that's no that's no psychic intuition, right? We're we're in November, December. It's holiday time uh, for most people. In fact, where are we? Yeah, I think coming up the, the first one coming up is Diwali on the 12th of uh, November. And uh, I feel like it is some sort of celebration that you're invited to where you meet this Ace of Cups. There is a new path of love opening up for you here. And I think it is because of this creative endeavor. There it is. It's a new love. Somebody who's got your heart singing here. We've got the devil. We've got the knight of wands. And we've got the king of wands. All right. What have we got at the bottom here? So all of these cards are in the upright if you are someone who is listening and not watching. So we have the, the page of pentacles. And... Um, it looks like there is something that's about to begin brand new here. Stuck energy. You know what? This feels like you're stuck in a cycle. I want to say. Feels like you're stuck in some sort of cycle you feel like you can't get out of. It's going to take inspired action to get out of this stuck energy. The devil's got you on the ropes. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's very deeply seated. It's like something, it's got you really stuck. It's obsessive. It might be things of a passionate nature. Take that as it resonates because we've got the Ace of Cups here. Isn't it interesting? It's all blue and all red. We've got all the water on the top, top and we've got fire on the bottom with the devil. It feels like it's a, that the devil is confusion, but it also feels like somebody has an impulse issue, an impulse control issue, and it, you might be stuck within that impulse control issue. It's time to get it together, right? The King of Wands is here. The Knight to the King of Wands is growth, right? It's uh, the Knight is is uh, the protector, of course, the one who's moving quickly. Yeah, it, it this Knight moves without consequence. Or feels like they don't have consequence. But that's the trick of the devil, right? It'll say, yeah, go ahead, jump in feet first. There's no consequences here, right? What else do we got here? Mm, I think that you know. Oh, interesting. Look, I feel like you are going to go into business with, have a creative endeavor with, whatever this creative endeavor is. Someone might ask you to buy in on a business or maybe you're an artist and they know that they can promote you or something like that. It's going to lead to love. It's going to lead to new love here. Because in the future, we have the Page of Pentacles, something that is materializing in the 3D, and you knew it. It feels like you knew it, right? Got your intuition here with the High Priestess. You could have Piscean energy in your chart. Uh, but we have, and let me know if you do and where it is. <laughs> if you do, and by the way, Capricorn as well, where does it fall for you? Is it Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter? Um, but the Four of Wands tells me that you know, you know in your gut yeah, you have a knowing that things are going to work out. You're going to start something new and it's going to work out. I think you're right. Got two pages here, right? So things are, are beginning sort of brand new is what it feels like. It feels like there's feelings of the Page of Cups and it takes you by surprise. You could even be going to some sort of, maybe you're going to school. It's Juilliard. You know what I mean? Like it's, it feels like it's a creative endeavor. It feels like wherever you're going on this creative endeavor is uh, going to be an opportunity of love as well. All right. Let's talk about that creative endeavor. It's something that you don't usually show people. I don't think that is like 
anything. I don't think that you have a store that you're selling it. I don't think anything. I think that this is something that you keep under the you keep on the down low. Tell me about the creative endeavor, please. So you're moving in on a path of being very creative. Three of Wands. Tell me about the creative endeavor. It's coming at you quicker than you think. The ships are coming in. They're about to come in and look, this is the past energy. This is like yesterday or the day or, or the days before that. I feel like this is already in transit. So it's it's the ball is already rolling here. We have the four of swords. You've never you've never shared it before. The four of swords is just that for me. It is healing, of course, but it, it is also just not really communicating with people. Uh, really kind of off and on. Maybe you haven't really told many people whatever it is that you do that's creative. Uh, you might be a public speaker. You might be a writer. We have um, the page of swords. You might be a journalist. Uh, and all of those things are creative, right? Uh, the page of swords is here to say that you are a student of whatever it is that you're doing. So you might be someone who goes to Juilliard to figure out your creative, your creative part of you. Um, you could be someone who is a writer. You're a person who is uh, milling for information, I want to say. You're the person who's really digging deep. Look, that's Aquarius energy. The Page of Swords is like not okay just knowing that they know. They want to know the under the underneath. They want to know why they know, why the other people don't know. They, they got to figure it all out. So I feel like you're really diving deep into something. And it's it's like right on your doorstep here. I think that you have talked yourself out of it over and over again. We got four swords and one is five. I feel like you've talked yourself out of this excursion or this endeavor before. Tell me about the two cups. Yeah, you're going to meet someone at a celebration. Look, the three of cups shows up. And... Um, it's the manifestation of the Empress. <laughs> you, you talk about the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups shows up. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. I think you're going to have to be really courageous. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to be courageous and confident. I feel like you are confident because I feel as though you, you know that um, whatever it is that your creative skill is, you're confident in that creative skill. And um, it is the moment of alchemy, my friend, for all of this to come together. I'm not talking just just business stuff i'm talking love too this is all on the two of cups you're confident about like when this person shows up this new love shows up here that you're going to meet before the end of the year and it might even be at midnight on on december 31st right um but if this person that you're you're going to meet is a total surprise and i think it's a total surprise because you're at some sort of a social function and i think it has to do with the holidays so maybe you're at your work's Christmas party or your holiday party. Um, maybe uh, the Ace of Cups, I feel, is is telling me that there's two cups here. And they have, it's like they, they feel the same way you do, but I feel like they pop up on you. And this is someone that you don't know. And I feel like it surprises you. It might even be a King of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be emotionally overwhelming when you meet this person. So the Ace of Cups brings the justice. I like it. Karmic justice. It feels like you've learned a lesson. There's something that you learned back there that is allowing you, allowing the Ace of Cups, this new, beautiful new path to open up. This new path in love something you never let go of you've always known it's like you have water energy or maybe you're just psychic i don't know but the high priestess energy is um the energy of i'm not telling anybody but i'm holding on to it silently and quietly you're about to get your karmic justice i think the ace of cups is going to be here tell me about this person the page of cups who's this new energy showing up for capricorn please Here's some new energy showing up for Capricorn. 
something that you've been waiting on for a very long time. And I don't think it's a specific person. I'm not going to say that it's your specific person you've been waiting on. I don't think that's what it is. It feels new, but this is a situation that you've been waiting on for a very long time. But I think that the universe is waiting for you to be brave because the creative endeavor is here. And not everybody who's creative will ever show their wares. They're not, they're not brave enough to do it like you are. Um, or it doesn't matter to them if other people see it. But I feel like for you, it does matter. And I think that you've been waiting for a situation where your worlds collide. What you love doing, and you can do it with someone that you love. That's what it feels like is happening here. You've been hoping for this. You've been waiting for this. And I don't care if what you call creative. <laughs> Whatever it is that's, that's creative for you, that has a creative process. It's, I think, because you've opened yourself up to your creativity that all this beautiful stuff is pouring in. There's an, there, you've been waiting for a love. You've been waiting for new beginning in love, and here it is. And I think it's coming at you. It, look, oh my gosh. Okay, look, I have, a, I have a guy, his name's Charlie, and he's talking to me right now, and I try and do the reading in between what he's telling me. And uh, what, what I just got the chills from head to toe really quickly, and he said something. And I, he, he said that when you decide to leap, that's when you're going to see this person, but I think it's going to be like close to midnight. Do you know what I mean? Like for some of you, you're going to meet this person at a, a, a New Year party or at a Christmas party. Um, and I feel like it's very close to the end of the year and you've been waiting for this and you're going to, you're going to be like, you know what? I don't even know why I, I hope for it, Elsie, because I've been hoping for it for so many years and it's not here, but I feel like it's just because the opportunity was moving slow. It doesn't mean that the opportunity is not there. Here it comes. It's an opportunity for love and for you to step off the edge and it's going to make you crazy. It's going to make you scared. It's going to freak you out. I think. Uh, you have to leave something behind, my friend, in order to be able to move forward with this new love. It's an idea or a thought. Or it's something that evokes emotion in you. So it might be someone that you haven't heard from for a while. Maybe you're finally going to leave the twin flame in the dust. You know what I mean? Like it seems like you have to let go of another energy in order to move forward. And I think there's sadness and regret. So I think that somebody has been waiting, holding themselves back from their whole life, waiting for that person to come in on the white horse and grab them up. I don't think that's happening. I think the universe is waiting on you to open up, to open up to your potential because the, the page of swords is the student, right? To open up to your potential. And when you do, I feel things start to fall in line. And it's a realization when you meet somebody new that you have to leave an energy in the past. I think you go forward because we have the page of pentacles. Tell me more about Capricorn, please. What is this stuck energy? What has had Capricorn stuck this year? I think that you're learning the lesson of the Queen of Swords, my friends. And if it is the, if this is not you, then take it as it resonates. That's okay. But I think the lesson you're learning currently is the Queen of Swords, feminine or masculine. You're learning that it's time to speak up. You got to say something. You got to tell people what you want. It's time to get out of the stuck energy of being silent. Say what you want to say and let the words fall out. I want to see you be brave. That's the song Brave by Sarah Bareilles. And it feels like the universe is saying, if you want it, show me how much you want it. Jump off the edge. And you're like, but there's no net in there. And the universe is like, exactly. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? And honestly, anytime I have wanted it bad enough and leaped, the net appeared at the last second. I'm not saying make any sort of risky behaviors. That's not what I'm saying. But I feel like it's time for you to say what you want to say. And you have this history of silence. Did it ever do you good? That's what she says in the song, right? Did you think it would? <laughs> so you, you're trying to find its inner courage, right? So I think right now in this moment, as you're watching this, you're like, nah, this is not my reading. Maybe some of you clicked off, but I feel like right now you're in the stuck energy. You're like in an energy of not being able to see past the, the smoke screen that the devil is throwing up here. So it feels like you are... Uh, the, the, with the strength in reverse to me is not weakness, it's inner strength. It's like, I have to be as strong as I can be to move forward. I feel like you're still learning how to tame the inner beast. Um, and I think that that's a good thing. I feel though that you are going to say something because to me, when I see the Knight of Swords, it's always, hey, I got something to say. So it's like the arrival of an idea that I need to be more brave 
and in order to keep moving. And so it, it's all the possibilities. It's big changes. The night, the night is uh, the night of swords is about big changes. It's also about being a little impatient and impulsive. It can be for sure. All right. Tell me why we got the devil here. There you are, Capricorn. Tell me why we got the devil here. And I think that that Capricorn, of course, is, is also the queen of pentacles. But I think that the reason that you're showing up with the devil energy here is because I feel you're scared. I feel there's doubt. I feel like everything that can be thrown at you, which is the way it goes, right? It goes like that in the Bible. It goes like that in Hollywood movies. It's always the darkest before the dawn. And it's it's the last moment of the, the last push, right? So you can get out of this devil energy. Tell me about the devil energy, please. Yeah, it's got you hostage. Yeah, you need to move away from it. If you want a long-term relationship and you really do want to fall in love, it's time to think about, you know, cutting the tether. It's time to go. I feel like the energy of being stuck, wanting to say something, not saying something, not having the courage, I think it's enough. I think it's too much. I think you go. Yeah. But I want to say that when you do go, it brings in the Ten Pentacles, all the abundance. The creative endeavor is going to make you money, but it's also bringing you love. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so it's the end of this impulsive actions. You're more stable. Look, you showed up here. There we go. We talked about the Queen of Pentacles. There she is. And um, look at that. <laughs> I love that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's coming up really beautiful for the end of the year here. I think that you are making a lot of changes. You're letting go of things that you were holding on to. And I feel like the realization that you are the Empress in training. You know your worth. You see that you you have worth. You're solid. You're sturdy. You're stable. And what you're, the end of something here is the Knight of Wands. No more impulsive actions. No more um, no more uh, doing things that are uh, short term. No more trying to quench my fire with short term things. I'm now looking at long term things, things that give me stability. And um, my pentacles are stacked and uh, dependability, things that make me feel grounded. And uh, we have the sun here and the sun is is all over the place, right? It, it spreads light and clarity onto the whole reading. It's like this is the. The time where you realize that you cannot move impulsively, you must move slowly like the Queen of Pentacles. You'll get more accomplished if you do it slowly and go over the details than you will as that if you do this impulsively. So please don't do it impulsively. I feel like this opportunity for the creative endeavor, I feel like it feels like you get in a plane to go somewhere and you end up or you end up at a, a party of people you've never met before. A friend says, look, I just need a plus one for this New Year's party. Can you come with me? And it's, it sort of feels a little bit last minute because of the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. I feel like this might be the person that shows up. I'm just saying. Oh, I did, just got chills. Yeah, it is the person. <laughs> oh, no, my left ear just went. <laughs> this is the person. I think we're looking at a fire sign here, my friend. And the King of Wands is Leo, but also um, Sagittarius and Aries in a general reading, right? All right, tell me about the King of Wands. We have the Five of Swords in the reverse. We have the Moon in the reverse and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have the King of Cups in the upright. Interesting. So uh, I feel like this King of Wands might be the person that surprises you. It's surprising you at a social event. And uh, I feel like this person is someone who is trying to also reconnect it feels like they are someone who's been by themselves for a while and they're trying to reconnect. They're going to seem socially awkward. <laughs> That's what I get from this. Like they're not unkind and they're not, you know, it's not like they're going to disagree with anything with you, but they feel socially awkward because it feels like there is, you know, it's like their first time doing it or they're trying to change their vibe. And uh, this person might be just out of a relationship. They, the 10 of, of, uh, cups is in the reverse here they might be yeah leaving a relationship they might be newly single because the moon is in the reverse which to me is the sun and the sun is here right 
things are coming to the surface. So this person actually might just be a person who like, who tells you everything. Um, I feel like you'll know a lot about this person because they're probably water with fire. I feel like you'll know a lot about them because they're going to feel balanced. They're going to feel deep. Um, they're also not really going to show you that they like you on the surface, but I feel like you'll feel from them. There's going to be a deep feeling, a deep connection feeling here. And I think that this person, don't be surprised if they're not quite divorced yet, but I feel like the Ten of Cups in the reverse tells me that the King of Wands is now searching for something different because the relationship is over or the, the Ten of Cups is no longer. And it's a realization that I really do love being connected to people in a very deep way. We have two kings here which could mean uh, that we're partway to the emperor, somebody who's in a growing phase is what I like to point out. Someone who's not quite the emperor, but who's really working hard to be um, the emperor. All right. Let's talk about who we're talking about. Let's get some details for you. Capricorn. So your person is going to be very physically fit. They could be a Virgo. And this person feels immediately feels familiar to you. And uh, probably because we have all of those cups there. <laughs> this person could be a Leo, by the way. They could be um, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. They could be uh, Sagittarius, Libra. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. This person seeks material things, Virgo, right? That's earth energy. So they move at things slow. They're someone who is building their own empire. Someone who is, you know, maybe they might tell you that they're buying a house or they just bought a new car. It's all about material things for them. That's what they're doing right now. It's going to feel familiar because this is a past life connection. And there we go. We have fives. Look, we had the page of cups over here, right? We start out with the page of cups, which is the surprise. And this is quick change. So it tells me that it happens quickly. It feels like it's somebody you're not expecting to bump into. You don't know this person, but I think you bump into them at a holiday party and it's probably going to be very close to the end of the year between the 25th and the 31st um we have uh remember your worth look i said the 20 the i just said the at the the end of the month right 25th to the 31st and the nine comes up we're almost there we're almost there right because the 10 is the next one that's the end of the cycle yep we're almost there so it's the end of difficulties be prepared for a deeper connection and I think this is something that you've been asking the universe for. It could be an older feminine, or maybe you are. Take it as it resonates. And we have fours. We could be looking at an emperor, I'm just saying. And uh, we have eights, which is all about the finances, money, and stability. So we have, you, if you're seeing fives and fours, five and four is nine, by the way. So if you're seeing fives and fours, I feel like it is very close for you that um, you're going to meet this person very soon. And uh, you could be seeing nines, and that would be even more rare. But it's probably more likely that you'll see the fives and the fours. But I don't think you'll see them separately. I think you'll see them in succession. Five, four, five, four, or four, five, four, five, four, five, five, four. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's something like that. It's going to be really weird, and um, you're going to look it up probably. But please first look around and remember what you're doing. Who are you thinking about? What's the situation you're in? What are you? What's going on around you? And then those will make more sense to you. So uh, for some of you, you might meet an older feminine who is a past life connection, who is a Virgo. And um, it feels like uh, this Virgo is probably physically fit and is a seeker of material things, which means they're probably pretty stable, which is you, right? You're Capricorn. You know how to make money like that. <laughs> yep. And you know what? The Virgo is the king of pentacles too. So um, the Virgo, I feel, is the one who's constantly getting people coming to them, trying to give them opportunities. And I feel like this person, because of that, is the reason for your creative endeavor. I think you meet this person and you go on some sort of a creative endeavor with them. You open a business, maybe it's van life, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like Virgo is going to lead the way. Yeah. And I think you can trust Virgo because Virgo has gone over all the details, knows everything inside and out. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for coming here and watching. I do appreciate you. Uh, hope that you will be in the comments. Thank you for your thumbs up. Thank you for uh, subscribing and thank you for hitting the bell button. I know I've been a little erratic with the uploads. My bad. <laughs> I'm out for now, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye-bye.